In this video, we're gonna talk about photographing your art. I have got my camera, my 7D Mark II, with my 60 millimeter macro lens set up on my tripod, and we're gonna take the highest quality images possible. Now, the reason we wanna do this is because we wanna share our work on social media. You probably wanna put it on a website, and if you ever wanna make prints, you've gotta make sure that you have really high quality stuff. There's a few settings on your camera that are really important to be aware of. First is you wanna be shooting in the highest quality raw format if possible. Second, your ISO should be set as low as possible to 100. And your f-stop should be anywhere from eight to 11. What that does is it just ensures that everything is crystal clear and completely in focus. Another important setting that you need to remember is shooting with the time remote on. What that does is just make sure that there is no shake or vibration when the picture is being taken. Now that we have all those settings in place, we're ready to photograph the work. All right. All of my settings are where they need to be on my camera. In my studio, it's really easy for me to get glare on my image. So what I've got here is my camera is set just slightly higher than my painting, looking a little bit down just so that I, I'm minimizing that glare factor. You just wanna make sure that in your studio, with your lighting, that you reduce your glare as much as possible. I'm looking at the painting on my camera. I just wanna make sure that it is exposed properly. So. As I push the button lightly, I can see the light meter. I want that dial to be anywhere between one and negative one. I'm also looking at my painting and I'm gauging it with how it looks on the screen. And I'm gonna adjust that so that it looks as similar as possible. So we're ready to take the picture. I'm gonna hold the button, push it down. Timer setting is on. I'm not touching the camera until it's done. Okay guys, there it is. I'm gonna take that file over to my computer so that I can start editing. Okay, so I'm gonna open the file in Photoshop. Because it's a raw file, it will open into camera raw. The goal here is just to make it look as close to the original as possible. Once it's ready, I click on open and it takes it into the main Photoshop suite. Now that I'm here, I'm in the perspective crop tool. I'm using this so that I, it straightens the image when I crop. I put in the parameters, the nine inches by the 15 inches. And now I'm going to select the corners individually so that it knows how to reference the crop. Once I'm happy with where the corners are, I hit enter and what it does is it straightens that image in that perfect dimension. So now I go up to image, image size, and I'm going to clean up these dimensions. I want this width to read as nine. I want the height to read as 15. And I want the resolution to be a nice clean number. So I round it up to 240. Now that I have the image at the size I want it, I'm gonna save this original file. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go up to File, Save As, and it's gonna open the window, and I'm going to click on Save a Copy. That's gonna allow me to save it as a JPEG. And I rename it to The Skeptic, and I hit Return twice. It saves the image and now I have a high res file of my painting.